The number of newly confirmed COVID-19 patients has gone back down to lower teens. Still, new cases keep popping up, many linked to the Itaewon cluster. Such developments forced some schools in the country to close on only the second day of reopening. Yi Youngun has our top story. The number of newly confirmed cases is back in the teens, but with a series of infections among students, some schools in South Korea are shutting down again. On Thursday, only the second day that high school seniors have been back at school, one institution in the southeastern city of Daegu has sent home all its students after one of them was confirmed to be infected with COVID-19. On the previous day, 66 schools in the city of Incheon shut down following the infection of two students. But the health officials say that education must go on along with proper disease prevention measures. The seniors' education must go hand in hand with disease prevention efforts. We believe that the current policies will continue with the active participation of citizens. In line with that, the country is considering expanding a free vaccine for flu to high school seniors so that COVID-19 patients can be more easily detected. The government is also continuing its investigation of cases that can be traced back to nightclubs in Seoul's Itaewon neighborhood. Incheon is the biggest area of concern after several students contracted COVID-19 from their academy teacher who had visited one of the virus clubs in Itaewon. One of the students went to a singing booth and from that point, a cluster of cases has been reported, including a one-year-old baby. With that, starting Thursday, Incheon city government has imposed a two-week de facto closure of all singing booths while also banning students from entering other types of singing room. Health officials were also closely monitored bars, private academies and the military, where most of 206 Itaewon-related cases are concentrated. Lee Young-un, Arirang News.